Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Scrum Mastery Challenge. As I'm sure you're aware, over the last few weeks I've been setting some weird and wonderful challenges for our Agile Coach contestants to test their creative abilities and lateral thinking while also hoping to provide some entertainment and some value to the Agile community. Well, the other night I had an idea and I decided to set our intrepid little Agile adventurers a different challenge. So, off to the post box I went. Okay. Okay. Bills, bank statement, industry award. I'm just going to the shed. Um, don't know what trauma he's going to cause me now. Wasn't even expecting this. Um, okay, so there's a bonus challenge. So create a two minute video. Then use your network to promote it. Oh, I don't even have a network. The video with the most likes and comments by the end of the series will win. You have one week. Okay. So there you go. A simple little challenge to test their creativity and create a short video that would provide some value and interest to the Agile community. And the one with the most likes at the end of the series will be the winner. What could possibly go wrong? Want to see what they came up with? Hello. 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 If you were watching this, then you may have already seen me and my fellow contestants. So the new Agile Game Show, Scrum Mastery Challenge. The new TV game show for Agile coaches. For this challenge, Jeff has asked me to create a video that will be interesting and useful to the Agile community. And to post it on social media. And compete against the other contestants. And see which video is the most popular. We think we've been a bit clever. Instead of making a video individually, we made a video together. We feel this would be useful for the Agile community because it shows how good we've been by pooling our ideas. Produce a video that would surpass anything that we could create ourselves. As a team, we shared ideas, spoke on the phone, we've written a script, and edited a video, and created our own challenge for our host, Mr. Jeff Watts. We created something called the Mushroom Challenge. Based on the popularity of this video, we challenge Jeff to eat mushrooms. And for every mushroom Jeff eats, we will donate money to Jeff's favourite charity, Mushrooms. What makes this more of a challenge is, Jeff doesn't like mushrooms. In fact, Jeff hates mushrooms. If you would like to see Jeff eat mushrooms, we want you to like this video. The more likes this video gets, the more mushrooms Jeff has to eat. And the more mushrooms he eats, the more money we raise for charity. Here are some rules. This video gets 50 likes before the end of the series. Jeff has to eat 10 button mushrooms. For each button mushroom eaten, each of us will donate one pound to charity. If this video gets over 100 likes before the end of the series, the challenge is for 10 slightly larger chestnut mushrooms. Each one of these is worth a £2 donation from each contestant to the charity. If by the end of the series we get over 250 likes for this video, we'd like Jeff to eat 10 of these large portobello mushrooms. Each one is worth £5 for charity from all of us. We don't mind how you prepare or cook them, they just have to be eaten in a single sitting. And we hope that you, the viewer, would like to see Jeff take on this challenge. Hopefully we can raise some money for charity too. Make sure that you click like and spread the good word. Thank you. The Mushroom Challenge. So I've been screwed. Hmm. Well, I have to say, I'm a little impressed. Despite being in the middle of a competition, they still found something more valuable to them than winning. And that was getting one over on me. Not exactly what I had in mind, but I've got to give them some credit for it, I suppose. They collaborated well, despite being a distributed team. 
and a compelling goal can always help towards that. And they managed to put their own individual objectives for scoring points to one side for the benefit of something bigger, winning as a team. And to do that, they all needed to demonstrate some trust and vulnerability, because at any point any one of the contestants could have decided to create their own video without telling one else, and they'd have an easy win on this challenge. So again, fair play to them. And while it's not the challenge I was hoping for, the challenge certainly is on. And I'm hoping that you will help me make them pay, literally. Because the more likes this video gets, the more money they will end up donating to charity. Even if that does mean the more mushrooms I end up having to eat. And yes, they're right. Mushrooms are my nemesis. The only food that I won't eat. Hmm. Thanks, guys. I think we'll stick to our normal schedule from now on.